Thank you guys so much for watching so today i'm going to be giving you guys a little view on how i practice with my mannequin head so i'm super excited i'm going to be using some really pretty lashes and i'm going to show you guys how to do a volume set um i just want you guys to kind of watch and enjoy with me um this practicing really is what's going to get you to be that master lash artist it's really going to help take your skills to that next level and you're going to be knocking out your sets super 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 fast so i'm just going to show you guys a regular russian volume set today and if there's any sets that you guys want me to show you guys like a wet set or a wispy look or any type of curl that you guys want to see you guys can go ahead and comment down below and i will go ahead and i'll show you guys how i would use it um but go ahead and keep on watching and if you have not already hit that subscribe button so you're not missing any of our weekly uploads so I do actually just like to use the eyelid, so not the actual mannequin head. I just feel like it's a little bit easier to practice. I just pretty much glue my eyelid on the back of an empty lash tray, and it's so much easier, you guys. You guys should give it a try. So as you guys can see, I already started lashing. Um, the tweezers I'm using are my brand of tweezers that I'll be releasing very soon, as well as the lashes are my brand as well. Um, but yeah, so I'm just making about 90 fans, meaning I have about nine hairs or nine lashes per fan, um, cause these are 0.05s and this is a CC curl. Like I said, I'm just doing a regular Russian volume set. So I did do, um, all around 16 mm. I normally would not lash a client this way. Um, just because obviously you don't want to just use the same length all around you want to give it some definition and switch up with your lens uh, but just for practicing purposes I am showing you guys just how I make fans and apply them and this is 16 mm all around lashes literally fan so easy they're literally like butter um i love these lashes they're amazing like i said these are my brand of lashes i will be re releasing very 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 soon they're super soft and super fluffy um but i kind of just want to show you guys as um, i'm isolating here you want to always make sure you go in with a slightly open tweezer and after you apply the lash you want to hold it for a few seconds just to let the glue set and dry before moving on to the next one and always remember do not lash directly next to the lash that you just apply never lash thy neighbor always tend to move around that way you won't get any stickies so another tip um, when making fans just remember to always have a really good pair of tweezers um, with really good grip. Make sure you know where your sweet spot is. It's going to make your fanning so much easier. A lot of people are always, you know, saying they're having really hard time making fans. Most times it's probably the tweezers that you are using. You want to always make sure you invest and have really, really good tweezers. As you guys can see, these tweezers are helping me so much and making my job so easy with the lashes being so easy to fan as well as having good tweezers it's literally almost a perfect fan each and every time
you guys, I do see that the lashes are further from the lash line. I know they're supposed to be at least 0.5 to 1 millimeter away from the lash line. And I do see a few of mine are a little further, so guys don't come for me. The reason for that is when you're practicing and you have a ring light in front of your face, and when the angle that I was recording, I could not see the actual lash line on like how a real person, I could always pull back the lash line so I could see. But on a, an eyelid, you can't do that. And the angle that I was sitting, I had a ring light in front of my face, so I'm not able to see that exact lash line. But always remember it's 0.5 to one millimeter away from the lash line. As you guys can see what I just literally did there, um, I had to drop the fan back down and grab it higher. So a lot of times you're going to have to do that. It gives you better control when you, after you make the fan, you want to place it back onto the last strip or drop the fan and literally pick it up higher so that when you place it, you have more control of where you're placing. Do you guys literally see how fluffy these lashes are? Oh my gosh. These are literally the best lashes I've ever used. Like, I'm not even just saying that because they're my lashes, but they're so fluffy and they're so soft. You guys, look at that fluff. <laughs> guys so that sums it up for today i hope that you guys enjoyed that quick video of how i practice with my mannequin eyelid um i find it a lot easier to practice that way versus the actual head um but yeah if you guys want to see any looks 
in particular or any techniques you guys can go ahead and drop that down below um, but thank you guys so much for watching and if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you're not missing any of our weekly uploads thank you guys so much for watching